Hello everyone, this is Joshua Reyes from Casual Game Studio, currently working on Rooster Rampage and Samurai Pig, which lists down below. And today we're going to be talking about Butler and how to use it to upload your games to itch.io. So let's talk a little bit about Butler before we get into it. There are many reasons why you want to use Butler to upload your game to itch.io. It allows you to overcome the one gigabyte limit of zip files on itch.io and it allows you to quickly patch your game and save a large amount of bandwidth and time while patching your games. Uh, what Butler does is when you make changes to your game, it actually compares your previous uploaded build to the build you are currently uploading and will only upload those changed bits. So it quickly speeds up your workflow, makes everything much more efficient, and also you can integrate Butler with a lot of external APIs. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's get started by installing Butler. The recommended way to do it is by doing it with the itch.io desktop application. So you're just going to want to search for Butler here. And you can see here, it gives us the option to install. So let's go ahead and install it. All right, now that it's installed, I just want to verify that the installation is correct. So I'm going to type Butler V. And if you do that, you will see here, it's going to give you some options showing that yes, it is installed. So that's the first part. Simple as that. Now you have Butler installed. Okay, so Butler is a command line based tool but you are in luck. I've created a nifty little batch file for you that will allow you to change a few things, just like the name of your game, the username, etc. And then you will be able to upload and patch your game. So let's take a look at that batch file right now. So here's the batch file. I will include this in the description down below so you can download it. And all we really need to do here is change the location of your game, your username and the game name. And then of course, if it's Windows, Mac or Linux, basically. So let's go ahead and do that and then I'll show you how it works. So here's the location of my game. It is here on my desktop. So I'm just gonna copy it from here and I'm gonna paste that there. My username is casual scrub. The game name is Butler test. And then I'm going to go ahead and save that. And remember, you're going to want to get that information from your store page. So here is your username, casual scrub for me, and the name of the game, Butler Test. Make sure to keep the title of your game relatively simple. You can run into some strange errors if you use symbols or spaces or something like that. So just try and keep it simple. So now all we have to do is simply run that batch file. So here it is on my desktop. I'm just going to double click it. Okay, and if this is your first time running Butler, then it will ask you to go ahead and log in and authorize. So here I'm already logged in to itch.io and it just needs to authorize it. So let me go ahead and authorize, authenticating. And now you can see it is pushing our build. So let's go ahead and wait for that to push. Okay, and now we're done. And you can see here, it says use Butler status, your name, game name, channel for more information. 
So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna copy this real quick. I'm gonna open up another command line. And you can see here that it has uploaded version one, build number, upload, and the channel. So now we know it has been uploaded. If we go ahead and check here, let me refresh this. You can see here now that I have two notifications that Butler Test is now live. And if we go back to the page, we can see here that now we can download it. So I'm going to go ahead and install it because I'm going to show you how awesome the patching ability of Butler is. So let's go ahead and install this game. I'm going to go ahead and install it to my D drive. Okay. So now it's installed and I'm going to launch it because I want to show you something. This area has been completely overtaken by worms. We need you to become the early bird if you catch my drift. Yes, we are both nodding at the same time. We understand one another. Okay, so now I want you to pay attention to the color of the worms. These worms are green. Green worms. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change out the worm texture. And then I'm going to package and patch it. And I'm going to show you the true power of Butler. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let me go ahead and go to my project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this texture. The uh, it's about 18 kilobytes. So let's go ahead and replace that with my new one. And this one is going to be like a purple. And now let me go ahead and save all. And then I'm going to package the project in the same location. All right, packaging is complete. So let's go ahead and run that batch file one more time. And here is the magic. So let's watch the magic. So as you can see, it only pushed 1.59 megabytes of fresh data. And let's go ahead and run the command again and see if we got a new build. Yep, version three now. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to our itch page. I'm just gonna check for updates real quick. It says it did find a new version. So now I'm gonna go ahead and launch the new version. This area has been completely overtaken by worms. We need you to become the early bird if you catch my drift. And as you can see, the worms in the background yes, are now nodding at this a type of uh, purple. And that's basically it. As you can see, you can make a simple change and it basically allows you to patch the game super quickly, super efficiently. And that is the full power of Butler. Um, I hope that explains everything for you. Uh, if there's anything that you feel like I missed or anything else that you might want to know, please leave a comment down below and I'll make another video or another addendum for it. Other than that, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and you have an amazing day or night. My, 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 my.